she's trying to hide stuff, which is not good. Inside. This is the highest biosecurity offence that you can commit. Okay. And there's more meat hidden in the woman's coat pockets. At Auckland Airport, math quarantine officers are searching a Chinese traveller's bags. The passenger's suspected of carrying risk goods, so Enforcement Officer Tony Davies is investigating. No, 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 no. Oh, how? Just chill. <laughs> Ben's have a, uh, inspecting through the leaves there in this egg mass of something. There's a webbing and an, and an egg mass of some sort of insect there. There we go, there's some more. Nothing's been declared at all. Um, the form's filled out perfectly. And Tony's colleague Liz Webber soon makes another find. I don't know, but there you go, you can have a look while I look at this. Can I have that one? No, leave it, leave it. Leave it? Yeah, watch this. Look. Ooh, what's in here? These. Yeah, duck gizzards. The bit inside the neck of the bird that grinds up all the food anyway. That's, that's the outside, they're cut in half. She's trying to hide stuff, which is not good. What's what's this doing in here? Why, why inside? No, 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 no. Put, just put it here. Tony's got some burning questions, but the language barrier is proving a problem. Anybody speak Chinese? Is James here? Priscilla, Priscilla speaks Cantonese. So the hunt's on for an interpreter. OK, um, I don't like the look of this stuff. Meanwhile, they continue with their search, and Liz finds yet more concealed meat. That's where I found the meat thing. Really? Yeah, and it was sealed. Good. Um, what's, what's that doing inside here? Hmm? <laughs> but Tony isn't laughing for long, as Liz checks under the coat tied around the woman's waist. Like it was original. Do you want to have a look in there? She had that tied to her waist. Did she? Under her jacket. Under her jacket? Hello? What's this? What's this? Yats. Yats, the duck. Yats. Duck. Duck. Duck meat. Yats, And there's more meat hidden in the woman's coat pockets. This was sitting, this is wrapped around her waist, and she had the, this sitting inside her jacket pocket just there. Tony's concerned because duck meat can carry dangerous avian pests and diseases. I'm going to need a translator, eh? Yeah, I would, because it's seriously... Passport, please. Passport. Because yeah. this is bad, eh? Oh. oh, yeah, look at that. I think she's telling me it's duck. But... It smells more like corned beef to me. This meat here, you see the fat layer, it looks like pork. Um, this was inside, a, a, like, a cookie tin. Which was, which was taped up um, to make it look like it had never been opened sort of thing. So that, that was inside there. A couple of lots of that. A whole lot of meat products. That they, can, they can be uh, duck livers and duck tongues and chicken bits and pieces, things like that. There's, you, get, you get that quite a lot. So if I open that up, you'll see what it is. Some sort of meat product. So there's... There's a heap of that stuff. Oh, here you go. This is this is duck tongues. I look. I think. Let's have a look. Here you go. Look at this. This is great. <laughs> duck tongues. Delicacy. This woman's yeah. brought Chinese Very takeaway honestly. to ridiculous extremes. Some meat product here, uh, which she said is duck. And. Um, yeah, full wrapped duck products on, on her person. So that's, that's not With the help of an interpreter, Tony tries to get some answers. Speak, just make, can you ask her why she had um, these meat products hidden in her luggage? She knows that she's bad. She's 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 she made a mistake. She knows that she's making a she mistake. Knows she make a mistake. Why was it tied to her waist like that? Well, according to that, her luggage is too heavy and she just put it in Tony tries to get more details about why the woman's here. Who's she visiting? Can you? Han Jing Sui. What you at? 
lock the door. Can you ask her how long she's staying in New Zealand? Can you ask her how long she's staying in New Zealand? This time she'll be here for six months. Six months with her daughter. The next step is to dispose of all the risk goods. Okay, so there's things like uh, fresh bamboo shoots, which are obviously fresh produce, so they're not allowed. There's a risk of um, pests and diseases coming in on those. There's a whole lot of, of these um, meat products and foil, which, um, which are, it's, we're not quite sure what's in them, so um, in that case, they're going down as well. There's a lot of those, actually. The gizzards were hidden in their shoes. And then there's the foil wrapped, it's potentially duck. There's no markings on the packaging or anything like that to say what it is, so that all gets in there too. And uh, a whole lot more, yeah, it's cooked, cooked duck. You can actually see from the skin there that it's some sort of uh, cooked or preserved duck meat. So what we have is a signed legal declaration saying she doesn't have any of the things that we just threw, threw away here, um, which are really, really high risk goods. With the woman failing to come up with a reasonable excuse for her actions, Tony believes her intentions were clear. We, we believe she's committed a very serious offence against the Biosecurity Act. She's got um, things hidden all through her luggage and she's also uh, body packing. The, the circumstantial evidence is very uh, overwhelming in this, in this instance to say that yes, she, know the rule, she knew the rules and she has attempted to flaunt them. In severe cases like this, offenders could face a maximum fine of $100,000 and up to five years imprisonment. It is a big deal. She has committed a, a huge offence. I mean, this is the highest, this is the highest biosecurity offence that you can commit. To hide stuff all through her bags is one thing, but to actually hide it on her body is another. And um, I mean, it just that just goes to show overwhelming circumstantial evidence that she she intended to bring this stuff in to possess it post-border, to, to give it to her daughter who lives here. And that's totally unacceptable. Um, you can't come into a new country and completely just disregard the rules at all. And uh, I mean, the, the range of stuff she had is, is potentially devastating for, for not only our, our horticultural and agricultural industries, but our natural environment, our native animals, birds, um, avian diseases of duck products, uh, uh, are potentially huge as well. The dog is telling me that you have an odour of drug on you. Okay, why? <laughs> that's, that's... As Gordon begins his questions, the man looks increasingly uncomfortable. Uh, what is happening? With, with, uh, no. The man's admitted smoking cigarettes, and Gordon finds something that could be a roll your own, or it could be a joint. I forget it. I want to smoke it in German here. The passenger's a keen musician. After what's happened today, he could be singing the blues. 